Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, I'm really grateful to Mr. Asan Boon, who's of course my leader as well, for taking extensive efforts to point out the plights that the entire Palestine is now facing at the hands of the aggression that is taking place there. So I'll, I'm grateful that I don't have to delve upon that now. Otherwise, I would have taken a few minutes to point out to this August forum the, the, the atrocious uh, sort of uh, acts that are currently happening in, in Gaza and now Rafa is the next target. So I request all of you as human beings to at least address what is going on uh, in, in Gaza and in the entire Palestine uh, in your conscience. I, as usual, had not written a speech to, to address because this, the subject uh, lies in my heart. But I was encouraged to see that our August German ambassador also did not speak through a written speech, so I am encouraged. The issue, the subject that I was told I was supposed to speak is the role, judiciary, judiciary's role in protecting and enforcing civil liberties and civil rights. And I must say that in any fabric of a democratic and just setup, the judiciary is supposed to serve as the guardian of our fundamental rights, including but not limited to the ensuring that the rights guaranteed by our laws are not merely words on the paper, but they are actually implemented and transform into tangible guarantees of justice and equality for all irrespective of race, caste, or their backgrounds. And in saying so, I must confess that the country ensures provides for a separate chapter outlining all the available fundamental rights that could be given to a people of a just and a fair society. It then boils down to the fact that whether our judiciary is performing its functions and its roles in a manner befitting the enforcement of those rights across the board. And I must say, and taking advantage of His Lordship's presence, Mr. Justice Mansoor Ali Shah is one of the icons of fundamental rights and their enforcement in this country. But I must confess that we have yet to deliver. And as a part of judiciary being representative of the apex bar of the country, I must say that it is time for introspection. And one of the biggest problems that we are facing right now is not that our judiciary is silent as to enforcement of the fundamental rights. For myself, and this is entirely personal to me, but as the president of the Supreme Court Bar, I must say we are presently confronted with a biggest dilemma of popular comments and popular judgments. His Lordship must attend to this. The dilemma is that we are trying to be popular, although we are sitting as members of the judiciary. And this is, this is happening a lot. And it is, I must say, challenging the entire edifice of our existence. The Supreme Court of Pakistan, and for that matter, all other judiciaries, all other high courts, and all other, uh, all other institutions dispensing justice must now address to this aspect of the case. Judicial activism is a nice thing, but it has to stay aloof of judicial overreach. And fortunately, the only judgment on judicial overreach came from His Lordship Justice Mansoor Ali Shah when he was at pains to point out that our high courts and for that matter the Supreme Court are bound by the mandate of the constitution of this country. May I, sir, with respect, point out 
that judiciary's actions, particularly in the recent past, reflect that judiciary has its uncalled for desire to be popular and not focused on delivering the rights of the people of this country. Will your Lordship take time to address this question and to ensure that our history, our judicial history, which is not very something to be proud of right now, transforms into something that we can all stand for. Sir, you, uh, the full court of the Supreme Court corrected the error which came through the judgment in the case of Mr. Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. Mr. Asan Boon has taken efforts to point out that it, is, it takes courage to accept that we committed a mistake. But that judgment in the presidential reference should now start as the basis for correcting the errors that we have committed for the last 75 years. Sir, I re request the attendance, the, the, uh, the participants of this conference to do whatever they can to ensure that our judiciary remains within the compound of the powers given to it by the Constitution and is not take, overtaken by the ticker politics, vote, so to speak, because uh, judiciary and the judges should only speak through their judgments and should not be happy when they are reported in media. I am grateful to all of you for a very patient hearing.